Hey y'all, I'm chilling for a second. I just got off work and I'm a Starbucks whore. So I came to Starbucks, got me a chai tea and a cheese danish, but I have been doing much better with Starbucks. I only come like once or twice a week now. And I was coming like, whew, it was bad. Anyways, so I've been having this conversation with, um, pretty much all of my friends like the past few months um everybody's kind of been dealing with some shit um and my sister sent me a video today on instagram a video of like tiny on wendy williams and ti with angie martinez anyways what i want to talk about is cheating um i just i don't understand why cheat why cheat and i'm gonna refer to a lot of celebrities ti and tiny carmelo and lala um whatever uh larsa i think larsa pippen was with some rapper and i'm pretty sure her and scotty pippen are still married and i mean different strokes for different folks the reason that I use celebrities as examples is just because we hear about them all the time on social media, on Twitter, on Instagram, on TMZ. Um, you know, celebrities are in that limelight. So, I mean, it's not to say all celebrities cheat, all athletes cheat. I think athletes are more likely to cheat because they have more opportunities available. But I'm not saying every athlete cheats. Anyone can cheat all people from all walks of life cheat it's i'm just using these people because these are people that we hear about all the time and i'm like damn like i i seriously cannot tell you of a relationship that i am aware of that any of my friends are in that is a healthy relationship they don't exist anymore they exist, but I personally am not aware of any. I'm not witnessing any. I have cheated. I have been cheated on. My mom cheated on my dad. I've seen people around me that I love and care about, my friends and family. I've seen them cheat, and I've seen them be cheated on. In this day, in our society, marriage doesn't exist anymore. It doesn't work anymore. People, I just... I have a hard time understanding why you, I mean, and women cheat too. This is not just men, women cheat too. But why, when someone proposes to you or when someone is proposing, you have to, I mean, if I were proposing or if I were being proposed to, I would be thinking of a bunch of stuff in my head like okay this is it this is a union between me and this person I I'm giving myself emotionally and physically to this person 100% I'm not cheating I'm not messing with anybody else and this whew, he better not either and then it happens and it's like you see these people get married and then you hear oh mistress pregnant uh look at reggie bush and i guess he had a side chick and i'm not saying all of these might not be confirmed but these are things that the new well not the news because we know the news that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother day but these are things that social media is putting out there oh so and so got side chick pregnant so and so um found text messages um, so and so found videos, pictures, Instagram, Twitter, all this stuff, blah 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 blah. And I'm I, I'm just like damn. Like monogamy seems so um what's the word I'm looking for? Like monogamy to be in a monogam monogamous relationship back in the day, like that was the norm. Um today like you it's rare that you see a couple that gets together and stays together it's very rare that you see a couple that you know doesn't one of the partners is not cheating and it's sad like it's it's really sad cheating is hurtful it's wrong no i don't there's 
I have zero tolerance for cheating. Like there's, I know like everybody's situation is different, but if you are not happy in your situation, you can walk out of the door. If you are married and you want to, you find yourself wanting to be with someone else, go get those divorce papers. If you are just in a monogamous relationship, you're not married, you don't, you thinking about going and sleeping with Joe Schmo and he's thinking about going and sleeping with Jill, Jack and Jill, whatever, let that person know. It's it's just so crazy to me. Like my, I have a hard time wrapping my head around it. And some guys would cheat, some women would cheat because they're not happy with their situation at home. Well, guess what? Change that situation. And I personally, everybody, again, everybody's situation is different. If you feel like you monogamy is not for you, that's fine. You don't have to be in a relationship with somebody. If you want to go out and you want to smash 40 people, that's your prerogative. That's your prerogative. But don't get in a relationship. Don't ask someone to be your girlfriend. Don't marry somebody. If you know that lifestyle, being with one person in a union, if you know that's not for you, why are you doing that? And I get that people grow, people change. You might be in love with someone today and three years down the road, you get a new job, you have having financial trouble, whatever, things change. If you wake up and you are not in love with that person when you were in love with them and you proposed to them, leave. You don't have to cheat. And I, me personally, I couldn't, I just don't think, I will never say never, I don't think that I could sleep with a married man. That's not my style. It's so disrespectful. And if he would cheat on his wife and get with you, what makes you think he won't do the same thing to you if you and him get together and he does leave his wife? And half the time, these people don't, they don't even leave their wives. You're just a side piece. Um, I don't know. It's, it's just, it's sad to me. It's really saddening that we don't have meaningful relationships anymore. And men have always been like, you know, more predatory. Women have always been more of like caretakers and like, um, the ones who kind of want and enjoy the relationship. And I'm just, I just don't understand I, I try and I've talked about it with my friends. I've talked about it with my sister, with my mom. I just, it's something that I have a hard time wrapping my head around. And, um, you know, we see it all the time now in society. And it's, it's like, where do we go from here? Like, nobody is safe. Tony cheated on Ava. Jay cheated on B. I really hope that Sierra and Russell work out because... It's, it's just so crazy to me. Like, M Mark and J-Lo. I mean, when B came out with Lemonade, I, oh, hell. Oh, hell. Okay, we have really did it now. I just, I don't understand. I have a hard time wrapping my head around it. If you don't want to be with someone, how hard is it for you to just, I don't want to be with you anymore. I still care about you. Like, T.I., made a comment on Angie Martinez or something he said something along the lines of I could be a better best friend to Tiny than a husband what husbands are your best supposed to be your wives are your best friends um I don't know I mean in real life I know that there are people that work out there are people that stay married forever I just like the cheating to me is like I feel like Everyone that I know that's my age just wants to have sex. Like, everybody wants to have sex with everybody. Like, oh, he's fine. I want to know what he's about. Oh, damn, her ass is fat. I want to know what she's about. Like, I some of the stuff that I see people post and talk about and some of the conversations I've heard and some of the text messages that I've read and just the way people carry themselves... I, I just feel like we're doomed. Like, I know that there are people out there that still have morals, but there's, like, very few, very few people left that are actually like that. And it's sad. And, I mean, granted, 
I think we put way too much into like reality TV and Instagram and social media and all, you know, people want to live these celebrity